this is our second video and here we will discuss about the evocent acs ac stand for advanced console system 8000 series and uh, installer and user guide this is our uh, one pdf file i will share with you guys and uh, there is a, around 95 pages and we will discuss this one by one first of all we will discuss about the introduction if you see earlier we have discussed about the evocent the use of evocent why we use it so if we discuss about the introduction like uh, the evocent is the appliance that serves as a single point of access and administrator of connected device such as serial consoles modem and powered devices the console system support secure remote data center management and out of band management which we have discussed um, of it asset from any location worldwide right so <laughs> like if you have a data center and uh, you want to access your devices remotely and uh, you can access that using ssh and other solution is you can take the ssh uh, take the console via con uh, evocent as well so this is a beauty of uh, evocent device like uh, it provide the uh, data center management as well and out of band management as well what is the meaning of this like data center and uh, out of band management data center like you have a uh, data center and uh, you have a connectivity via lease line connectivity and a dm vpn like you can access your devices means those are in the same subnet like 10 dot something like that but if you are doing some activity like your internet goes down and something can happen and you are not able to reach your data center so what will the solution on that time so on that time we need to use evocent as a out of band management right to access your devices to access your data center next we have a like the console system provides secure local console port and remote port access right remote access and the console system rules of linux operating system so basically uh, if you are using the evocent you have to aware about the some linux basic one <coughs> the os is purely linux based and means operating system and uh, on evocent you will see the all things generally we see we use we manage on the switches end like flash memory storage everything we need to uh, uh, install ios if we are to upgrade it we can do it and another beauty is multiple administrators can be lo logged into the console system at the same time right so this is a one more beauty of this evocent device like uh, if you are running uh, if you are doing any activity right so you want you want to see that either another person also want to see that what is happening what you are doing it right so you can uh, access another person can also access this right means other solution is if you have taken the access of this evocent device for any specific device another person want to do the activity on another device third person want to do the activity on another device fourth want to do the activity on another device they can access the evocent at same time right so this is the beauty of this and this is web ui and cli both way you can access it right so next is a feature of feature and benefits 
so we have already discussed and uh, let's go through this very important points so first is secure access is available through the following local and remote options what are these first is lan local area network and wide area network ip network connection similar like this next is dial up to a factory configuration uh, configure internal modem or a modem connected to one of the serial or usb port third is target device connection and authorized user can make a telnet ssh version 1 version 2 or pro connections to a target server for telnet or ssh to be used for target device connection the telnet or ssh device must be configured on the secure security profile that is in the uh, to take the effect you can say right so there are multiple options in iosent we will discuss this one by one and uh, next we have the smart uh, console system console uh, cons uh, console connections a administrator can log in either from a local terminal or from a computer with a terminal um, and uh, you can take the console port and can be use the cli utility the cli utility prompt is this one it will be show you first time if you will access the evocent with cli we will um, see it when we will do the lab okay next is same web ui right user and administrator can perform most task through the web user interface which can be accessed with http or https the web ui run on the microsoft i chrome google firefox mozilla and apple safari or any supported computer that has network access to the console system the list of supported client browser and their version are available in the release note means if you are uh, accessing it via https you can use chrome either ie right to access the evocent web ui next is ip version 6 and ver version 4 supported or not it provide the both and it provide us the dscv functionality as well triple p as well dsv software integrity as well http https firewall ip table is also there right remote auth authentication is also there you can access it via radius tcas and ldap server as well snmp is there snmp we can configure syslog server we can configure for the log perspective ssn telnet access this is the use of uh, means we can configure that on the latest version as well we can create the multiple users in avocent let me show you okay there is no image but we can access that for that suppose we have a four customer and another is we have the admin and root account customer is saying please create our credential on the avocent device to access our devices so on that time you can create the user you can create a group with the permission and you can provide the access to them there is option like if user want to change their password you can also provide that features they can change their password in the next log you can perform the security as well means via security profile setting right 
so if to uh, remedy some vulnerabilities authentication features also there via tcash server ldp or radius server vpn ipsec functionality is also there if ipsec is enabled in the selected profile security profile an administrator can use the vpn features to enable secure connections so this is also a very extreme level beauty of the avocent device next we have the packet filtering an administrator can configure a console system to filter packet like a firewall packet filtering is controlled by chains so you can filter the packet as well snmp configuration is there snmp stand for simple network management protocol right the console system snmp agent support these are the latest version with avocent support on the latest devices so if you want to see like how to configure you can click on this configuration hyperlink and on page 33 you can see the snmp configuration like data login notification alarm and buffering power management auto discovery administrator can enable auto discovery to find the host name of the target connected to a ssl serial port fips module federal information processing standard you can enable that one also this is required for the cryptographic module so next this is the main thing like configuration example how you will configure the avocent so if i show you the image of avocent let me show you the things this is your avocent device acs 8000 series and here you can see you have the multiple uh, ports are there and uh, based on the port you can uh, simply check how many ports are there in the avocent device okay first of all we will see all these things power cable on off button so this is a you can see the back panel front panel of this avocent device you will connect the all network devices connect cables with this means on device you have a console port you will connect that port with the avocent device to access your devices it will your lan port if you are configuring it via usb or this ethernet port and these are the lan wan port you can access via this as well if you have a console port here this one you can connect on the console you can take the access you can upgrade it you can uh, uh, configure it and you can mount it on the rack and place your all the cables and connect it via web so in the table based on the number we can see what is the components power supply cables on first point sensor ports for one wired environment smoke leak pressure of dry contact sensor on two number 
USB ports, SD card slots. On six number, you can see the Ethernet port which we have discussed. On this port, you will connect the network devices. There's a multiple LEDs. Based on the LEDs uh, means indication, we can simply identify if our device is not responding properly. This is a small basic configuration. These are the all AvoSan device with the few ports based on the requirement. Each serial port has two LEDs that illuminate either green or yellow. Green indication that status for physical connected with the serial port, remote connectivity and data transfer. Yellow LEDs indicator whether the serial port is being monitored along with the alert label, emergency alert, emergency alert like or none. No. So these are the indication of the ports. And next we will discuss about the installation, like how we will install in the environment. 